Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Harry Potter Dots review. Today we have what is likely to be the most disappointing set, though probably the best build of the three, that being set number 41809, Hedwig Pencil Holder. This set includes 518 pieces and retails for only $19.99 when it released on March 1st of 2023. Now I think the build itself is really adorable, but really the one thing that pains me about this set is the fact that there are no exclusive one by one tiles included unlike the other two. I just think it's a missed opportunity considering there are so many exclusive one by one tiles in this wave of sets and you'll have to buy multiples in order to complete this set. I think that was probably Lego's idea just to make this wave sell even better. Knowing that collectors will want to have all of these exclusive one by one tiles and not a hundred different hairy heads, they'll make you buy that $15 set as many times as you can possibly manage to. So yeah, that's all for the box. Let's open it up and take a look at it. LEGO continues to be not very environmentally friendly with these LEGO Harry Potter dot sets. We get a total of two numbered bags as well as three unnumbered bags. I mean, what the heck is this? Why do we need such a large bag for this, for these things? It's really frustrating, especially considering all of the stuff that they're always talking about in terms of saving the environment and the paper bags and the ugly renders on the instructions, which I guess this isn't really too bad. It's kind of like a poly bag. We'll fold this open. Where you build the set from the front and you continue from the very back. We also happen to get another pamphlet here where you build up the little Hogwarts letter, which you can decorate any way you want. And from the back side, you get the advertisement with the other sets in the wave and your win information. So here it is, out of the box and fully built up and tiled off the Hedwig pencil holder and also the little Hogwarts letter. Really, your time is going to be spent on this set placing those individual one by one tile pieces. That's really where the value of this set comes from, though there are no exclusive one by one printed tiles like you'll see in the other two Harry Potter dot sets, which is really annoying. Taking a look at the color palette, for this set, I have two of these two by plates just for show. Those do not actually come within this set. Here's a look at the full on color palette. Just like the other sets, you'll get some of those opalescent pieces like these circular ones over here. The purple, not the blue, like you'll see in the other set, I believe. All of these individual one by ones, not sponsored by Reynolds Kitchen's pastel baking cups can be used to decorate the two items that are included. You also get this key piece like you'll see in the other sets to remove these one by ones if you don't like where you placed it. But looking at the design for the Hogwarts letter, I decided to customize it with sort of like a Gryffindor thing at the top. This is what they show within the instructions. Pretty simple, nice and easy. This also doubles as a picture holder so you can actually put a picture on this just like the photo cube. So that's really interesting. Unfortunately, I don't have anything exciting to put there right now. Maybe we'll put the instructions. Works like a charm, there you go. Moving right along to Hedwig, probably the part I like the least about this design that I might even just remove right off the bat are all of these other random tile pieces around the scarf. I just don't really like how that turned out. Scarf design, Really love it, love the color scheme. Happy that there isn't any other random colors mixed in there, just the yellow and red for Gryffindor. I also have to point out these half circle tile pieces, which are pretty neat to get in white. You actually get an extra one of those within the set. You get the yellow around Hedwig's eyes, as well as the melon slice for the nose area or the beak. As far as how this is attached, it's pretty nice and simple. You get some of these studs building on the side for the plate piece, which you can actually remove both of them. They are pretty simple. So if you want to just customize these off the character, you can remove them and tile them off separately. That is one feature that I actually like. 
We get some clip piece connections for the wings so you can actually move those back and forth if you really want to just to position them. They only go that far. You can see the building on this side as well from there just to see how that's all connected. And some random colors just so then you don't get confused placing too many white pieces on top of each other. And of course, the main attraction, this really nice big hole from the very back. This is used to put pencils and pens and all sorts of other things. Like for example, here we go. There you go, it works. Very nice and easily as instructed. You can put pens, pencils, or whatever. You can also see from the bottom how far down this goes for like a regular sized pen like this. So overall for $20, is this set worth it? I mean, it doesn't include any exclusive one by one tiles. It is a cheap $20 set. I do have to give it that and the price per piece isn't too bad though most of that is really just those one by one tile pieces. But at the end of the day, it really comes down to this set does not include one by one exclusive tile prints, but the other ones do. You can even get a $15 set that includes them. So if you don't want to miss out on Lego Harry Potter dots, just get that set. It really is, it really gives you everything that you want. You can check out my review linked in the description below card above. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye.